Miss Nicole from the South Fayette and Bridgeville Libraries. And today, we're going to do another author and activity. Today, we're going to listen to the story called Bad Apple by Edward Hemingway. And it's about friendship and being kind. And it's about apples. And when we're done, we're going to do some apple prints. Really fun stuff. So let me show you how I got on. Okay, so here I am on my computer and I typed in PV story time. And the first book that comes up is Bad Apple by Edward Hemingway. It's about five minutes long and it is about two items that you would not think would become friends an apple and a worm. So after you listen to this a little cute story, come back and we're going to do some apple prints. story about friendship and apples. It is apple picking time. It's the beginning of October. So I thought that we would make some apple prints and do some apple taste testing. So since it's apple time, I went to the store and I bought three apples. One red, one yellow, and one green. And I cut them in half. And I'm going to take some tastes of each one when I'm done with my crafts. The first thing I did after I cut it in half is I put a popsicle stick in the one half so that it can act as your stamper. And then I put some green paint, some yellow paint, and some red paint under each of my apple stamps. Now, one thing you could do is you can draw a big apple and then you can put the apple prints on it. I've got my um, green one that I cut sideways so I get the seeds looking like a star. And then I've got my red and my yellow ones. When that dries, you can easily cut it out and you have a nice a little decoration that you could put up for the fall. I'm gonna put some more yellow in this one without getting it on my counter. So that's one thing you can do. You can do an apple, a colorful apple. Another thing you could do is you could make some stationery. I made this stationery where I put the apple prints on the top and the bottom, and then I put a note for my grandma in. Dear grandma, happy fall, I love you. I can't wait to see you. So all you have to do here is you need to put your apple, do some printing, however you want. And as the paint wears off, you can start seeing some of the details of your apple. Let's try my yellow one. Uh-oh, I just dropped it. There's my yellow one. And now I'm gonna try my red one. So when this dries, I can write a little note to somebody that I love. And the last little apple project we're gonna do is we're gonna make an apple tree. So here's mine. It's got lots of green leaves that I used my green apple to make. And I put some yellow because it's starting to change. And then I used my finger to make the apples. So the first thing you want to do is you want to use some brown paper. I couldn't find any brown paper. So I went and got a lunch bag and I just cut it out a long rectangle and I glued it on with a glue stick. Then I'm going to use that green to make all kinds of apple prints, to be apple leaves. And I put it towards the top so it looks like a tree. Now, because it's fall and the leaves are changing colors, I'm gonna put some of my yellow prints in to show 
show how it's changing. Now I don't want to put any of my red prints in because I want to use the red as my apples. So I'm just going to use my pointer finger, dip it in, make it a little apple. You can probably get about three apples before you have to dip in again. So you will need a napkin to wipe your finger and you've got your own apple print apple tree that you can hang up in your house to decorate. So I hope you enjoy these activities and you enjoy tasting the three different apples. A red one, a yellow one, which fell on the floor, and a green one. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the season. Bye-bye.